Sam here from Webkin Tempo and we've got a new one for you today. So a couple weeks ago dropped my new website and I did a little video showing you guys some of the stuff we did on the homepage. Now I had a comment about that asking how I did the accordion. So I figured well what a perfect opportunity to uh, package that up, show you guys how you can install it on your own site and um, give you all the uh, info you need to get started with that. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to quick um, run back through the accordion, how it works, and then I'm going to show you how in about five minutes you can get this set up on your site and customize it however you want. So super cool way to add some cool functionality to your site, give it a little extra pop, a little extra wow factor. Definitely something I recommend checking out. So stay with me because we're getting started right now. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me. Okay. Uh, super simple. Uh, first, we're going to take a look at what exactly I'm talking about. So this is the homepage, um, the redesigned homepage of my website. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a frog in my throat. Uh, let me refresh it here. Okay, so you see, uh, mostly basic stuff. But then if you go down here, you'll see we've got this accordion section. And this is what we're going to be focusing on today. So this uses the basic Divi accordion. And what we've done is uh, use some CSS <clears throat> to change the way that it works. Um, basically giving you these round um, icons here to select the different accordion um, items. So other than that, it pretty much works the same as an accordion. So a uh, few steps we're going to need to do. First off, I've um, created a demo version of it here on a fresh install just to show you that you can pretty easily transfer this to a fresh install. Um, first thing you're going to need to do is, well, well, we'll get back to the CSS in a second. If we go to pages, you see I've set up a home page here. And we've added a uh, accordion module from Divi. So this is just the standard, <clears throat> standard accordion module. If you see right here, this is the one you'd want to be adding right here, accordion. And I've just named a custom accordion um, down there. Uh, nothing. You don't need to do that on yours. So. Um, as you can see, we haven't done any kind of special styling on this at all. Just uses all the default styles. On the advanced tab, we're going to add the CSS class, not an ID, but a class of custom accordion. And then we're going to be adding some CSS for that in a minute. Um, that's the only thing you need to do on the actual accordion itself. Now, um, back on the content tab, <clears throat> here's where you'd be adding your different accordion items. So you see I just added some sample ones here um, with the default title and some uh, Latin placeholder text for now, just so you can get an idea of how it works. So. Again, basically, you really don't need to do anything with these. You'll see, as far as the design goes, we didn't uh, do anything to it at all, actually. Um, it's pretty much just straight up the default. On the Advanced tab, the only thing that we did here is um, under Toggle Icon, we added the code for the icon that we want to show. And I will show you how you can figure out that in a minute. So basically, <clears throat> what you're just going to want to set up your accordion, add your items, and then the only thing you're going to need to do on the main accordion thing is add that class and then on this uh, each individual accordion item you're going to want to add the toggle icon that you want to use on that item and that's it super simple so what this basically uh, how, the, how this works is um, primarily off of a, a few lines of CSS so I went ahead and put this in a theme um, theme, Divi theme options where they allow for custom CSS which we're going to go in a second. If you wanted to um, I'm pretty sure you could just put it right in here. If you just were only going to use it on this page you could put it right in the CSS for this page um, but I put it in theme options or you could also use a plugin like uh, custom CSS or something like that. You can pretty much put it wh wherever you want to put your CSS. Um, it doesn't really matter. So if we scroll down this is the chunk of CSS and you'll see there's quite a few things here to style these accordions but they're actually fairly straightforward so I'm going to be providing you with all this code and then there's just a few things you're going to need to change to customize this I'm going to open up it in Dreamweaver just so I can show you a little bit better what the code actually is um, you can open this in notepad or your code editor of choice it really doesn't matter there's just a few things you mainly need to pay attention to and that is um, where the colors are controlled. So as you can see, we've got red, and then we've got this darker red um, shadow. Uh, what we've got in the CSS file, you can see um, this is our hex code for red, FF0000000. Um, and you'll see that in several places throughout this file. And this is basically just um, 
controlling the color of the text and some uh, hover states and then the background color of the icon. So the other color we're going to have is the shadow color here. And this is just a darker red. And you'll see those are all down in here. And this is the E60D0D. Um, the easiest way you can customize this is basically start with, start with your red. So whatever you want your base color to be, you're going to do a search and replace and remove FFOOOO and replace it with whatever hex code for whatever color you're going to use. And that'll take care of the whole document. There's, I think, only like five or six of this one in here. So you could do it manually, but just to be on the safe side, um, you might just want to use a find and replace because uh, it'll only take you a second to do that. So that'll take care of all that. Then you can go through here and customize this more if you want. For example, we've got uh, the heading font color is set to red. You could change that to something else if you want. The hover color for the title um, also set to red. You could change that if you wanted to as well. So you can certainly go in here and style these more. We've also got like font size, 30 picks, font weight, bold. You could, you could, if you wanted to, take these out and then use the Divi editor to do that or you could just change them in here it's really up to you however you want to do it um then the other thing would be the background color for the shadow on the icons so that's this right here and that <coughs> is um basically just this only this is the only other color you're gonna have to change and you can again do a find and replace um, typically when you're doing the shadow you only want to go a couple shades lighter than the base color if you go way darker you're gonna notice it um, you kind of want it to be a little bit more subtle this is actually only a little bit darker than the base color and you can see it still is uh, quite a big contrast so uh, that's my biggest tip on that is you want to try to keep your colors pretty close um, because just a little change in color will go a long way in terms of that. But this is where you change that. So um, you can change your text shadow color here. Now, if you want to, you can actually just completely delete this out of here. And I'll show you how that looks in a minute. But if you delete that out of there, that's just going to um, remove. If you don't want this shadow right here, that's going to remove that. So um, if you just delete that line of code, you can get that out of there. All right. Um, so we've got our code, and then basically once you've um, edited this however you want, you're just going to want to um, select all, copy it, and then paste it into wherever you put your CSS. Um, most likely it would probably be in here in custom CSS or in the actual page under custom CSS. And that's pretty much it, and the result you're going to get is this. So super simple. Um, it looks really elegant. Uh, nothing special that you really have to do, so this is just pretty much right out of the box. Now I'll show you. Um, how we can change these icons. You'll notice right now they're um, all pretty much the same except this one. So let's go back in here really quick. Okay. So our first icon is a WordPress item and the rest are all pencils. So let's go back into item two and we'll change that from a pencil to something else. So you can see right now we've got this content equals uh, slash E104. You're going to want to go to this URL. This is um, there's probably other places to find it, but this is a list of all the Divi icon codes. I'm going to put this in the link below, so make sure you check that out and bookmark it, because this is pretty useful to have. Um, these are all the different codes for the different icons in Divi, and you can see there's just a ton of them here. So um, for item number two, let's just say we want to replace it with a heart. We'll just copy the code there and paste it in there. And if everything goes as planned, that should update. Um, on our second item there. So we'll just wait one second for this to update. Okay, refresh, and then we should be all set. Bam, and you see we got the heart right there. So that's pretty much it. Um, you know, it sucks you have to do it manually, but it's really not that hard. You just go to this URL, pick the one you want, and copy paste this um, icon code in there, and then you can change these to whatever you want. So super easy. You probably could get this to work with a different font set, but that's a little bit beyond uh, what we're doing in this tutorial. So that's really all you need to know. So just to recap, you're gonna add a regular accordion module, okay? Then in the module on the advanced tab, you're going to want to add that CSS class custom accordion. Then on each of your individual accordion items, you're going to set these up just like normal. And then on the advanced tab under toggle icon, you're going to want to add um, this piece of code here. And then this is where your, co your um, icon code goes. I'm going to put this in the link below as well. Um, then you're going to open up your other code. Uh, you don't have to do this in a text editor, but you probably want to. 
uh, you just open it up here, change the FFOOO to whatever you want your base color to be. I recommend doing a find and replace because it's only going to take a second. And then here you would change your um, shadow to whatever you want your shadow to color to be, or you can just delete it. And that's it. Um, then you paste it. You can paste it right into the text editor or into the CSS editor, and you'll be all set to go. Now, one last thing that I'll show you is. Um, let me go back to the CSS here. So if we just delete this big chunk right here, this is all the definition for the shadow on the icon. If we just delete that whole thing, that will remove this out of there. So if you don't want to have shadow, you don't have to. And you can see there, it still looks pretty good without the shadow. So totally up to you whether or not you want to have that. Um, shadow option and that's it simple as that so hopefully you can find a lot of creative ways to use this i think it's super cool super easy to use uh, i'm probably going to be plugging this into a lot of different sites just because it's um you know kind of a little upgrade over your typical accordion and it has that little extra wow factor a lot of different ways you can implement this and make it look super cool and it only takes a couple minutes so definitely recommend you check this out all the research sources are below in the comments and um please like and subscribe. I really appreciate all the support you've been giving me. And I've got actually got another video scheduled, so you can count on that one coming out tomorrow um, if you're watching this right after it came out. If not, then it's probably already out. So anyway, enjoy. See you next time.